Sean Cranish, the EMF Explorer from ElectroHealth.com and the International Electromagnetic Health Association. Here I quickly want to show you what I did with my meter box. This is an old-fashioned analog electric utility meter or watt-hour meter and this is the kind we want. It's uh, simply mechanical, there's no electronics or circuitry in it. It's, uh, it's got the disc that spins around, the dials, They've been out for decades and decades. They work reliably. Um, they don't explode or cause fires, at least not from our searching on the internet. If you search for smart meter or electronic meter fire, you'll find uh, many pictures of melted and exploded <laughs> smart meters, but uh, I haven't seen any pictures of melted or exploded analog meters. So these are the uh, old-fashioned safe kind. The reason I want to show you my box here um, is that I've locked it and I, I locked it simply with um, a locking clasp that you can get at the hardware store so I didn't have to buy anything special or mail order anything um, and right now I just have standard padlock so this one's pretty heavy duty um, and I put three on here just for fun um, the other option is uh, rather than these types of locks you can get the kind of hockey puck looking um, called the hidden shackle locks and uh, th those are round, um, you know, like the shape of a hockey puck, and they would go over over the ring here, um, making it impossible to cut. Um, these would be pretty tough to cut, but the point here that you really want to take home is that this box is yours. Um, this meter box, the socket box that the electric meter goes into, is yours so that's your property you can do with it as you please um, the meter itself belongs to the utility company and they do need to get access to it if they need to but they can always uh, arrange that by appointment with the homeowner um, so the box is yours anything you do to it if you build um, if you put wood around it if you put a locking clasp like this on it um, anything you do to that box is is your property so if anybody comes and and destroys any of your property that is vandalism that's a crime so and and you can prosecute for that so even if they if they cut your locks that's vandalism if they try to take this off that's vandalism now I've made it so it's pretty tough here um, to get it off in a second here I'm gonna undo these locks and uh, show you how I did that but this is a, a quick way but you can lock your box. I recommend it just because if they're putting smart meters in your area you never know um, even if you've opted out or told them you don't want it they're still likely to come and put one on anyways so um, locking it is the you know 100% uh, uh, safe way to make sure they're not going to get one of those meters on there and we really do not want the smart meters because uh, while well, primarily the health and safety concerns um, the health concerns which would be the dirty electricity those are the high frequencies that they generate and put on the line and also the radio frequency radiation that's the wireless signal that's transmitted through the air um, these have caused many people health problems I mean we, we take phone calls almost on a daily basis from people who are complaining about smart meters the smart meters are by far um, with not even a close second um, they are the number one complaint that we receive from from people so um, they are they are a serious issue they, they cause many people health problems and it's a, uh, usually a similar story every time where the health problems began at the same time the meter was put on the homeowner um, didn't even know that the meter was put on they got sick they were sick sometimes months or years before figuring out that it's the smart meter causing it and um, then they look back in the records and see when the meter was put on and it was the same time when their symptoms started so we hear that all the time and there's no doubt that that smart meters cause cause problems um, so we want to keep these old-fashioned analog electric meters on and if you have a smart meter it's best if you get it off um, the other reason why you want those things off is because they are um, a huge privacy concern smart meters record on a um, you know sometimes a second to second basis what's going on and then they transmit that that information so they record the uh, what's going on with the electrical signal in your house 
and the companies that make these meters and the electric utility companies have paid to have different types of electrical loads as the, the signature that those loads create um, analyzed so that they can know if you're doing laundry, if you're running a light, if you're watching TV, you know, what types of things you're actually doing in the house. And this information, of course, can be sold to marketing companies. Um, the government can snoop in on it, of course. There's already been instances of that with smart meters. So, um, yeah, all around, I mean, it's the equivalent. This type of meter here, the, the analog meter, shows them how much electricity you use in a month, and they charge you for it. It's just like getting gas for your car. So you take your car in, you fill it up with gas. Um, the new electric meters, it, they're not just charging you for how much you use per month. They're now able to see what you're doing with it. That was the missing information, how their product, the electricity, is being used. That's what they wanted to, um, to, to discover and then, of course, use that to make more money. So it, it, it would be like taking your car to get gas put in and the gas station knowing where you've been, how many stops you've made, how fast you've traveled, if you've had uh, passengers in the car, things like that. Information that they don't need to know, that you don't want people to know, you don't want going into computers um, and being saved in databases for eternity. Um, you, you know, you, you want to maintain your privacy in the house. You want a reliable, safe meter that's not going to blow up, that's not going to stop working because of, of a couple spikes or lightning hit nearby and the electronics are fried so now it's you know not working any longer you want an old trusty meter like this that just works so next I'll take these locks off show you how I attach to the the uh, locking clasp here whatever you want to call this thing and uh, and then maybe you can do the same for yours okay we're back the locks are off so you can see this uh, this thing's made by master master lock um, uh, pretty cool how it's designed. It worked out pretty well for this type of installation. Okay, it's a little bit of a tight fit there. Um, but here is the actual hoop that the lock goes through. Um, I put in four screws or four bolts. Um, and I believe on all these there are uh, nuts on the other side so they're actually machine type. I'll open it up to make sure. I know I used a, a few like sheet metal screws but then I also used machine screws and nuts actually um, for extra strength. So here I have five holding it. So to get that off it would take I mean it would take a lot of work and, and I mean someone would have to come out here with a uh, a real cutting tool to cut this thing off and, and at that point they'd they'd be committing vandalism and, and um, you know I would I would come out and intervene um, and protect my property at that point from from the vandals and I'd also call the police um, if that were happening so um, all right so I'll take this off now the thing to remember about these is that the electricity is live there's 240 volts 120 volts and both um, if you touch any of the contacts inside, you can receive a fatal shock. Um, I mean, it's it's very life-threatening. It's it's not a joke. It's very very serious. So you do not want to touch anything inside these boxes. You need to be completely careful. So this comes off, and then it slides out. <clears throat> okay, so you can see the contacts, the four. There's two at the top, that's the, the line coming in from the pole. Mine is overhead, so that comes in uh, overhead, not underground. Um, not that it matters either way, but... And then these are the lines going into the house here that provides electricity for the home. So, and then there's just a, a ground there at the bottom. Okay, so you can see on the other side got some uh, machine screws some nuts pretty in there pretty snug I just drilled holes through the through the metal just with a regular drill um, and then as I put these in I was uh, I didn't take the meter out when I did it I left the meter in place so even these uh, bottom connectors here were live at the time um, and I was just really careful to work around them 
and uh, get nowhere near them. Um, and just like these these other connectors, the 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 contacts that are hooked up to the utility company's wiring, those are going to be live all the time, even if you take the meter out. So so this box, this um, utility meter box is live all the time unless you call your power company and tell them to disconnect the service that you have to work on the box. Um, now you don't have to do that, but it, that's your judgment call. Um, so you are responsible for your own activities and your own safety here. We do, we do not recommend doing this or um, and we're certainly not saying it's safe to do. Anyone doing this sort of thing would want to be extremely careful as I was. But so basically I put that in there and then on the cover you can see I, I just drilled those five holes here. That's the cover. And okay so here there's a few uh, sheet metal screws and then a couple machine screws with nuts, um, double nuts. And that's enough to keep this thing in place and make it a real pain for someone to take it off and make it likely that I'm going to catch them taking it off if they do. And even if I don't catch them in the act, I will still um, call the police and, and go that route with finding out who the vandals were and then holding them accountable for their actions because uh, this is my private property and I won't uh, stand for anybody vandalizing it in any way. And that's the uh, stance you should take as well. Protect your private property rights. So once that's back on, you can see it's a little snug. I have to kind of push, and I left this a little bit loose on purpose, just a tiny bit so it would uh, be enough to, um, normally I do this with two hands. Let me try the other hand here. Okay. There we go. So that clips back on. Take your locks. This is a combo lock, so scramble that uh, combination up a little bit there. And I'll put that back. Okay, maybe I had to leave the combination in place to shut that one. Well, anyways. Okay, I know I can scramble this one. Hard to do with one hand. There we go. So, well, it's just a, a key lock. So a few locks like that. There are some other options on how you can lock it. Um, some people have used chains. Some people have used uh, like hardened, uh, I saw uh, someone selling some like angle iron brackets um, that were pretty cool, pretty slick. It just depends on your setup. Like my box is kind of away from the, the wall here. Um, you could do chains, you could do a number of things. I guess the big thing is that no matter what you do, test it out. So, okay, so this is locked back up. Um, okay, I know they can't get it open. They'd have to cut this lock to get it open. Um, and then these, they'd have to cut these locks. I could put the hockey puck style one on there, um, maybe for a little extra security. But I know as long as this is locked, you know, they can, they can pry at it a little bit. Um, Even if this lock is out of place, you know, um, they can't actually get this cover off. They can pry the other side away, but they're not going to be able to see that. They can pry that away a little bit, but they're not going to be able to actually... Here, I'm going to do this. <laughs> hopefully not bend it too much. Um, but they're not going to be able to get the meter in there. So. So test, no matter what you do, test it out and just make sure that it works, that it can't be um, circumvented too easily. 
and yeah, that's what I'd recommend to, to do to lock your box. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video and check out our other videos. And uh, if, you, if you appreciate what we're doing, join the International Electromagnetic Health so Association. And uh, that helps us push forward our efforts to protect privacy and health, mainly health, but privacy with the uh, smart meters is another big one. And I think the smart meters are, are one of the most important uh, battles we have going on right now with uh, electromagnetic health because it, it really affects people. All right. Thank you for watching.